blessed children in the world, this is your Father in Heaven speaking with you this day. The I Am of all creation, lover of your soul, your God, maker of heaven and earth, the eternal spirit, the omnipresent, omnipotent, ever-living God. And I wish to speak to you this day, my child. I have drawn you into this word for a reason, because I wish to minister to you one on one. I wish to open your eyes to see my glory, to feel my presence, to be with me. I want your undivided attention this day, my child. Put everything away, relax, close your eyes. I wish to take you deeper, further than you have ever been before. Blessed child, I love you, I created you. I know you, I know your name, I know every hair in your head. I know your days, every single day of your life. I know your past and I know your future. I know where you will go tomorrow. I know if you will listen to the end of this word or walk away. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. My child, I created you. I put the plans and purposes in your heart that I desire for your life. I placed you on the earth for such a time as this. There are no coincidences, no accidents in my kingdom. There are exactly the amount of people on the earth that I need for there to be, male and female. I know when you will be born and I know when you will die. I know the path you will choose. I know whether you will receive me, receive my son, your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. I know if you will pass through my judgment into my heavenly kingdom or be separated from me at life's end. I see the beginning and I see the end, my child. I know all things. But whilst you live upon the earth, I have given you free will. Free will to choose me or to walk away. My child, if you are listening to this word on this day, then I am offering unto you my hand, my hand of friendship, my hand of love. It is up to you this day to choose where you would like to spend eternal life, my child. I will not force you. I will not force you to love me. I will not force you to come into paradise at life's end. You can choose to walk away, to reject my words, to reject my love, to reject my kingdom, my gift of salvation, the giving of my son for your sin, his sacrifice for the world. You can leave your earth and be judged for your sins, and you will be judged. But know, my child, that the wages for sin is death, and you will be separated from me at life's end. That is why I'm coming to you this day to warn you, my child, to tell you that life after death is real. This is only just the beginning, my children, of an amazing journey. This is my journey for you, my child, to live upon the earth, to come to know me during your lifetime, to choose me on your own, to use your free will, to come to know me by yourself. Many never come to know me, my child. Many walk away, many reject my love, and they are cast out of my presence. They do not reside in my eternal realm because they rejected me during their lifetime. But it was their choice, their free will. 
Anyone who wants to spend eternal life with me can do so. But you must, turn from your wicked ways. You must be forgiven of your sins. You must repent. You must follow my son, his holy words. You must read my holy Bible. You must love me with your whole heart, mind and soul because you want to love me, not just because you want to inherit eternal life, not because you want to go to heaven, but because you recognize that I am your God, that I created you, every single part of you. My child, you will never regret loving me, giving your life to me because this is the purpose of man. My purpose in creating man is to enter into a relationship with me, a friendship. I want to give you good things, my children. I want to bless you and love you and help you through this lifetime. I want to heal you and deliver you and set you free. I want to break the chains which bind you I want you to dance again. I do not wish for you to feel fear or anxiety, trouble or pain. In this world you will have trouble, my children, but I can help you through this world with my Holy Spirit. To enter into eternal life you must be born again, born of my Holy Spirit. You must be forgiven of your sins. You must repent of your wicked ways and turn from them, my children, and I will help you. I will help you to walk in purity and righteousness. I will help you to walk in light, not in the darkness, but in glorious light, forgiven, redeemed, sanctified, purified. Through my son's holy blood, his death, his resurrection, his ascension. If you put your whole hope and faith in him, we will come. My Holy Spirit will come and make its home within you. You will be filled full to overflowing with glory. Everything will be different. It will be a new day for your life. You will be born again. My child, I'm inviting you into this amazing journey with me, with your Father, your Creator, your God. This world is not here by accident, my children. Everything is designed, created perfectly, to function in unity. Everything in creation has a purpose, my purpose my will and I have promised unto you the human soul eternity but you cannot bring your sin with you your wickedness if you reject me on the earth I will also reject you in my heavenly realm because you chose to reject me I never will reject you my child if you give unto me your life if, you're if you turn your face towards me, if you want me with your whole heart and soul, if you need me, I want for you to enter into paradise, my child, at life's end. I want for you to be reunited with your family, those who have given their life to my son, those who were born again, or, my child, you can go to the place of weeping and gnashing of teeth, a place far from my light, my love, my mercy. You will not hear my voice again. I am speaking through these two maidservants on the earth at this time. I am bringing forward a message, a warning to every person on the earth who has forgotten me, who has rejected my ways, who is walking in sin and lust and debauchery, in pride and arrogance and hatred. My children, now is the time to repent and turn. Walk away from the darkness. The darkness will drag you to the pits of despair. 
my child, I do not want for you to spend eternal life in a place separated from me, from my love, from my glory. I want for you to dance in glory. I want for you to feel my presence this day. If you give unto me your whole life, if you turn from your wicked ways, confess your sins, not just the sins you think you can do without, but all sin, all sexual sin and immorality. You must turn, you must stop what you are doing behind closed doors. For I have made it very clear in my holy word what is right in my sight and what is wrong. There can be no mistakes, my children. You cannot change my word to suit yourself, your sexual desires, your perversions, your immorality and lust. My word does not change, my child. It does not return void. It is everlasting to everlasting. You must obey my word. It is written for you, for the goodwill of man, for the benefit of man, so that you can have a good life on the earth. For when you are clouded by sin, you cannot see me, my child. Your sin is before you. Your greed, your hatred, anxiety fills your heart, your mind, your spirit. You cannot escape your sin. Your mind is filled with evil things. And you cannot see me, for I am pure, I am holy. And I cannot dwell where sin is. My son came to the earth, he was the sacrificial lamb, the holy lamb who was slain for the sins of the earth. Put your hope and faith in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sin and you will be washed clean, white as snow, my child. I promise that on the day of judgment you will walk through into the kingdom of heaven for you will be cleansed by his holy blood, the blood of the lamb, the blood of the Messiah, my child, this is a serious decision that you must make this day, whether to accept and receive my holy words or walk away. But I promise at life's end you will walk into the darkness. You will be separated from me. But today you have a choice. Today you have free will. What do you choose, my child? Will you bow your knee before your God, your Creator, the one who put you on the earth this day. I am the reason you exist. I am the reason you are alive and breathing. I am the reason you are here right now listening to this word because I have drawn you here to listen. Because I love you so much. I see every sin you are committing on this day. I see your trials and your struggles. I see your temptations and your addictions. I can set you free from every single thing that binds you, my child. You just need to reach out your hand and place it in mine. You just need to give unto me your love, as I love you. I ask that you think upon this this day. This is an important decision, an eternal decision, my child. An eternal decision for your soul, for your salvation, for your eternal life. I'm reaching out my hand and I ask that you place it in mine and together we will fly. Together we will walk into paradise at life's end and your joy will be complete. You will be come one with me in spirit and truth and you will be so happy. My child, if you give unto me your life this day, your whole world will change. You will be born again. You will be a new creation in Christ Jesus. The old will be gone, the new will come. And you will be forgiven. And you will smile because you will be free from all the sin that you have carried for so long. Lay it at the feet of my son, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He died for you. He shed his blood for you, his holy blood. He paid the price for your sin so that you do not have to pay the price at life's end. My child, he is the sacrificial lamb. He died for you because he loves you and he will welcome you into eternal life. 
He is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, the Messiah, your Messiah. Turn your eyes towards Jesus Christ this day. Place your hand in the hand of the Messiah, the one who loves you, the one who came to reveal me, his Father. Read my Holy Bible, read the words of Jesus Christ. Listen and obey all that he instructs you. He is my perfect son, my beloved. I love him so much. I am his father, just as I am your father. I wish to open your eyes this day, my child, to all that is awaiting you on the other side. I am inviting you into this journey, this 1260 day prophecy to the nations. I will be bringing forth a new revelation on heaven. Open your doors of heaven for you to see. And I want you to come with me. Come with these maidservants. Do not reject my ways. This is of eternal significance, my child. What you choose to do today will be recorded in the books of heaven. My Lord and my God, I pray for the salvation of many on this day. My child, what do you see before you? Lord, I see the book of life. I see names written in the book and names being taken away. Thousands of names are being added. I see blank pages being filled. Page after page after page of names. People bowing before the Son of God. I see. But there are also names being taken out. Those who walk away. Those who once knew you, but walk away for different reasons. Who forget you, forget your love. Oh Lord, I pray that no more names are taken out of the book of life. My child, so many give their life to me. Good faith, they want to serve me. They want to love me and they believe that they will. But over the course of time, they draw away and they walk into the world and they forget my love. They do not remember my name, they do not pray, they do not worship, they do not read my holy word. Many think they are saved simply because they are baptized as babies. They think this is enough, it is not enough, my children in the world. You must be born again, you must make a decision of your own self. Not your parents' will, but your will. You have free will free will to choose and you must make a decision during your lifetime. My children in the world, I want to see your name written in the book of life at life's end. Will I find your name written in the book herein? Will you walk away? Will your name be erased from the book of life forever? Give your life to me. And I promise that this day, your name will be written in the book of life for eternity. I am the Lord your God, and I'm inviting you into this journey this day with me, an eternal journey. Now and forever. Amen.